Brewster. Greetings from the grave. Don't look so surprised. Didn't you know your great-grandfather was a honky? The old man married twice. One wife, white, produced me. One wife, black, produced your grandmother. Checkered family, you might say. I've outlived them all, except you. They tell me you're my only living relative, Brewster, and I gotta say I'm very disappointed. Look at you. What have you made of yourself? A failed baseball player. I believe in being honest, Brewster. No bullshit. <laughs> I'm stuck with you. But we're gonna have some fun. story, Brewster. When I was seven years old, my daddy caught me smoking a cigar. Locked me in the broom closet for three days and three nights with nothing but a box of cigars and a book of matches. No food, Brewster. No water, just those goddamn cigars. Wouldn't let me out until I finished every last one of them. Taught me one hell of a lesson. I'm going to do to you what my daddy did to me. I'm going to teach you to hate spending money. I'm going to make you so sick of spending money that the mere sight of it will make you want to throw up. So, here's my proposition. You have 30 days in which to spend 30 million bucks. If you can do it, you get 300 million. There's got to be a catch. Of course there's a catch. You have to spend the 30 million. But after 30 days, you're not allowed to own any assets. No houses, no cars, no jewelry. Nothing but the shirt on your back. <laughs> so it sounds easy, don't it? Well, you'll find out. <laughs> you can hire anybody you want, but you've got to get value for their services. You can donate 5% to charity and you can gamble another 5% away, but you can't give this money away, and that includes buying the Hope Diamond for some bimbo as a birthday present. <laughs> oh, I, I know what you're thinking, Brewster. You'll buy yourself a dozen Picassos and use them for firewood, right? Wrong. You must not destroy what is inherently valuable. That's instant disqualification. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> You're not allowed to tell anybody why you have to spend this money. Why can't I tell my friends? Because I don't want anybody to help me out. Nobody helped me out in that closet with those cigars. <laughs> I never had any friends. Well, Brewster, what do you think? You got the balls for it? I doubt it. That's why I put a special wimp clause in my will. You can have a million dollars right now and forget the whole thing. Or you can go for the big one, Brewster. The 300 million. But if you fail, you don't get diddly. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>